evening. Tonight, Princess Yukiko has a big surprise. I'm going to go score myself a hot stud. Welcome to Not a Dream, Not a Hoax. Princess Yukiko's hunt for her Prince Charming. And I came prepared. I've got my lacy unmentionables on, stacked from top to bottom. I'm out to catch a whole harem, and the best of the lot is going to be all mine. Well, here I go. Yukiko-san for sure. It looked like her, and I mean, she even said her name. But didn't the stuff she was saying sound weird? And she looked like she was on some low-budget TV show. Was it like this before, too? What's going on? Uh, okay. Um, uh, uh, we need to get in touch with Yukiko-san first. Uh, crap, I don't know her number. Oh, yeah, I, I can just call Chie. Tomorrow's Sunday, so let's meet up at Juness first thing in the morning. So I woke up with him. He said he's gonna be late. Are you going somewhere? I'll be fine by myself. So the weather this weekend will be perfect for going out. As for next week's forecast... Oh, the sun's gonna come out. I should do some laundry. Uh, weren't you going somewhere? Sorry for the holder. I found some stuff we can use in the closet at home. Take a look at these. We've got our personas, but a golf club's not that reliable of a weapon. So, which one strikes your fancy? Ah, you've got discerning taste. This is a Juness exclusive. The blade's fake, though. As for me... Wait, maybe both would be good, too. Kinda like this? Or like this? What about this? Two suspicious young males found, one armed with multiple weapons, requesting immediate backup. Huh? Oh, crap! I mean, no, 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 this, this isn't what it looks like. We didn't steal it. I guess that's not what matters. Anyways, we're not doing anything bad. We're just two ordinary kids who like weapons. Oh, uh, that doesn't sound right either. <laughs> Put the weapons down now. We'll listen to your story at the station. Hands where I can see them, too! I said now! But, but, this isn't... Are you resisting an officer of the law? You're under arrest! You didn't seem the type to pull a stupid stunt like this. You know what's been going on around town. We got men stationed everywhere, for God's sake. You're lucky I was around, or this would have ended up on your permanent record. We're sorry. Wait, so the one that disappeared is the Amagi girl? Seems like it. That she's just a high schooler, you know. Could be that she decided to run away from home. Hey! Did he say Amagi? Then she 
He really is. Hmm? Who's what now? Oh, uh, nothing. I'm sure you've seen on the news that there's an investigation in progress. We're sensitive about certain things. You're free to go. But this better not happen again. Whoa, pardon me. Huh? Aren't you the kid staying at Dojima-san's place? Oh, uh, can we ask you something? It's about Yukiko-san. I mean, Yukiko Amagi of the Amagi Inn. Did something happen to her? Huh? Oh, um, am I allowed to say? Well, if you're friends with Miss Amagi, keep this between us, okay? We got a call from Miss Amagi's parents yesterday evening saying they couldn't find her anywhere. Since it was the weekend, the workers at the inn were extremely busy and no one saw Miss Amagi around that time. Oh, but that doesn't necessarily mean this is a case just yet. But people have been turning up dead on foggy days, so we're really sensitive to stuff like this. By the way, did she say anything to you guys about maybe going through some hard times? Uh, hard times? Well, that announcer Miss Yamana was staying at the Amagi Inn before the first murder. Seems Miss Yamano had some harsh words for the manager about the staff's attitude towards guests. The stress of it caused the manager to collapse. And, with Miss Amagi being the manager's daughter, she must have felt pretty strongly about the incident, you know? By the way, did Miss Amagi ever hint that she might be leaving the house? Because if not, there's been some theories floating around that she's laying low for some reason or another. Ah, crap. I think I've gone too far. You didn't hear that, okay? Adachi, what the hell are you chatting with civvies for? And where's my coffee? Sorry, I got it right here. S forget I said anything, please. Hey, does that detective think that Yukiko-san... What are you guys doing? I've been looking everywhere! Uh, well, there was a slight misunderstanding. We'll tell you about it later. Anyway, something's up with Yukiko-san. Huh? You know already? I kept calling her so, but she didn't pick up! So I went to her house, and it turns out Yukiko really did disappear! I guess we've got no choice but to go now. But that aside, the cops are saying some weird stuff. They think Yukiko-san's hiding to lay low. Apparently, Yukiko-san's mom collapsed because that announcer lady bitched her out. They think that gives her a motive. And the fact that the announcer died right after makes her even more suspicious. What? They think Yukiko did it? Oh, what the hell is wrong with them? Dude, don't snap at me. Yukiko's the victim here, dammit, not the suspect. You're right. So, what are we going to do? With the police totally on the wrong track, we've got to handle it ourselves. I'm going to. And that's final. I'm going to save Yukiko no matter what. Are you going to be all right? But man, they just confiscated our weapons. We can't go in empty-handed. Weapons? Oh, I know just the place. Come on, follow me. Here we are! What kind of shop is this? Uh, metalworks, I guess? They sell all sorts of metal crap, like katanas and stuff. Doesn't that seem weird to you? Why would you know about a place like this anyway? Oh, I get it. You watch one too many kung fu movies and... It's not that at all. I overheard some guys in our class talk about it. They said this place sells weapons and armor. Here, this one looks good. But it might be too heavy. I don't know, Chie. I still think it's too dangerous. I know how you feel, but... You don't! You don't know shit about how I feel. 
Yukiko might die from this for crying out loud. I'm going, and that's that! be fine. My reflexes are second to none. Listen, I'm not kidding around. You don't know what it's like in there. If you're not going to listen to our warnings, we're leaving you here. If you insist on coming, just make sure you have something to protect yourself. All right. But man, what should we get? Hey, mind picking out something for me too? You're our main asset in battle right now, so I think you should choose whatever makes it easiest for you. I got my stuff all picked out. How about you guys? You know, if we wear this stuff around town, we'll just get picked up again. But it's not like we can waltz into Juness with a sack full of gear and expect no one to notice either. Why not conceal them under our uniforms? I don't think people would notice. Okay, let's try that. All right, let's split up and get ready. The store will be crowded until the afternoon sale ends, and if we walk around together, the cops might get suspicious. Then I'll see you guys at the Juness food court. moment of your time. We have been expecting you. The catastrophe that has headed your way. It has already taken human lives in its approach towards you. But you have nothing to fear. You already have the power to fight against it. It seems that the time for you to use your persona has come. <laughs> your persona ability is that of the wild card. If you strengthen your bonds properly, their power will help you overcome any ordeal. Our role is to facilitate that. My contribution is to give birth to new personas. By mixing together multiple persona cards, I can transmute them into a new form. This, in other words, 
is the fusion of personas. You have the power to hold multiple personas and to use them accordingly. When you defeat an enemy, the seeds of possibility you attain will appear before you as cards. At times, they may be hard to grasp, but you must master your fear and reach out to them. When you obtain new cards, please do not hesitate to bring them here. If you have been developing your social links, then your persona will gain even more power. They will be one of your chief sources of strength. You would do well to take this to heart. The tome you see in my hand is the Persona Compendium. Registering the personas you hold will allow you to recall them at any time. Please see me when you wish to use it. Oh, and one more thing. I would like to introduce a new resident of the Velvet Room, who will be helping you on your journey. <laughs> Marie? <sighs> yeah, I can hear. Nice to meet you. Huh? Oh, maybe. That'd explain why you're so familiar. Hmm. Excuse her. This is Marie. Her soul is still very young and... Shut up. Don't tell him any more about me than you need to. As you can see, she may be brusque at times, but please understand that she is only an apprentice and forgive her for her impoliteness. Marie will be dealing with skill cards. Using these cards will allow you to provide your personas with new powers. Also, I am sure she will help you form a bond between yourself and the outside world. Marie will contact you at a later date. Please feel free to speak with her here when you wish to use her services. <laughs> Do you recall my words to you before? The coming year is a turning point in your destiny. If the mystery goes unsolved, your future may be forever lost. I meant precisely what I said. Defeat in battle is not the only way your journey may come to an end. Please do not forget this. When next we meet, you will come here of your own will. <laughs> I look forward to it. Until then, farewell. stick out. Guess it doesn't help that we're in our school uniforms on a Sunday. The sale should end soon, so that'll get rid of some of the people wandering around here. All right, let's get going. Chie, it's not too late to... I'm going! Fine, but don't push yourself, got it? from last time. What are you doing? Can't you tell? I'm thinking about stuff. I've been deliberating over it for a long time now. Hey, that wasn't a bad joke. <laughs> uh, so, did you figure anything out? Uh, it's probably useless to think about it too much. I've seen the inside of your skull and it was empty. Rude. You're right, though. I try and try, but nothing comes out of my head. Will you guys shut up? 
Now's not the time for stupid jokes. Listen, someone came here yesterday, right? Wow, there's a girl with a better nose than me? What's your name, miss? M miss uh, I'm Chie, but never mind that. Tell me more about that someone. I think it happened a little after I talked with you guys. After that, it felt like someone was here. Is it Yukiko-san? I don't know. I haven't looked. The presence is over that way. That's probably where they are. Over there, huh? Is everyone ready? Yeah. You're positive that no one's behind a camera for that bizarre midnight program. Program? I don't know. Maybe people on your side can see stuff in this world. It might be that. And I told you before, there's only me and shadows here. There's no camera stuff going on. This world has been like this from the beginning. From the beginning? That's what we don't understand. I don't know. Can you guys explain everything about your world? I've never seen this program thingy before, so I don't know. Well, is that really what's happening? Are we really looking into this world? Because the first time Yukiko showed up on that channel was before she disappeared. Doesn't that seem off? I mean, Yukiko saying stuff like, score myself a hot stud. Oh, that's not like her at all. Score? Stud? Yeah, I couldn't believe it either. Yukiko-san would never say anything like that. Huh. I wonder. Is this kind of like what happened to me last time? There's a lot of stuff I still don't get. But after hearing your story... I think that program happens because of the person who appears on it. Or something like that. So... Yukiko is producing that show herself? Oh, I don't get this at all! Hey, do you feel Yukiko's presence from inside? I'm pretty sure. So, um, what's this scoring with a hot stud thing? Yukiko's here. I'm going on ahead! Hey, wait, don't go alone! Jeez, we better follow her. Here goes! Persona! Oh, 
Oh, good one, Yosuke! Her you have weakness! Let's go, partner! Okay! Out of our way! When you defeat an enemy, the seeds of possibility you attain will appear before you as cards. At times, they may be hard to grasp, but you must master your fear and reach out to them. Chie, are you all right? Chie? She said that red looks good on me. Yukiko-san? I hated my name. Yukiko. Snow. Snow is cold and it melts quickly. It's transient. Worthless. But it's perfect for me. Apart from inheriting the inn, I'm worthless. Still, Chie told me that red looks good on me. Are these Yukiko-san's inner thoughts? I remember hearing Saki-senpai's too. Yeah, this castle is probably here because of this Yukiko person. Yukiko? Chie was the only one who gave my life meaning. She's bright and strong, and she can do anything. She has everything that I don't. Compared to Chie, I'm... I'm... Chie protects me. She looks after my worthless life. And I... I don't deserve any of it. Chie is so kind. Yukiko, I... Chie is so kind, huh? What a joke! What?! Oh man, is that...? It's just like Yosuke! She lost control over a suppressed self! Now it's a shadow! Are we talking about that, Yukiko? <laughs> she says I'm protecting her! She says she's worthless! <laughs> That's a 
so it should be right. What are you saying? Yukiko's Yuki so good looking, so fair skinned, so feminine. She's the one all the guys drool over. When Yukiko looked at me with such jealousy, man, did I get a charge out of that. Yukiko knows the score. She can't do anything if I'm not around. I'm better than her. Much, much better. No! I've, I've never thought that! What are we gonna do? We need to protect Chie-chan right now! No! Don't come near me! Don't look at me! Chie, calm down! No! No! This isn't me! Wait, stupid! Don't say anything else like that! <laughs> That's right. I'm the one who can't do anything alone. I can't win as a girl, let alone as a person. I'm pathetic. But you can go. She depends on me. <laughs> That's why she's my friend. I'll never loosen my grip on her. She's too important to me. No! That's not how I think of her! <laughs> so you're just going to turn your back and deny me again? But things are different now. When the time comes, I'll be the one left standing. You won't mind, right? I'm still you. Shut up! You're... Jin, no! You're not me! <laughs> Chan! Just hang in there a little longer. Oh, think, think you, you can, can stop, stop me that, that easy? easy? Soda! Let's go, partner! All right! Ready or not, here we come! Looks like you won't understand without a little pain! Kneel before me! Show me that you! Sweet sleep! Ah, that was intense! You okay? Should we show him who's- We're not gonna? No waste. Let's do this! Persona! Fly all this! For her!
Let's Wait, go. What? Okay. Let's do this. Persona. Let's go, partner! Good answer! 